you know what happened uh, late during our show yesterday, uh, police in uh, Col- uh, Columbus, uh, Ohio, the capital city, uh, shot a 15-year-old uh, girl who was attempting to stab, according to the according to the, the body cam video, attempting to stab another girl. And uh, and so, of course, it looked like that could be the uh, the, the match to a uh, to, no- to another series of riots. But the the uh, authorities in Columbus move very fast. Usually, it takes days, if not weeks, to get the the uh, body cam footage. They got it out there instantaneously. And if you freeze frame it, you see the woman had a uh, the the girl had a had a knife in her hand. She was raising it over a uh, over another uh, uh, kid. Who uh, who was by the car? I mean, I don't know what the cops could have done. I, I just it it's it, it was horrible, and and Kathy Griffin was uh, saying, well, you know, this is these are kids. They had, they're they're knife fights in the neighborhood. And as I just told Grace, I've seen one knife fight in my life, and it, it, I I was walking home from the state house, not home, but back to the Herald from the state house after a long budget night on a Saturday night, and these two hoodie type guys, uh, you know. Uh, came flying out of uh, one of the bars on the edge of the combat zone on Essex Street, and one of them had a knife. And I, oh, man. And I said to myself immediately, you know, I don't think I'm going to be parking the car at the Herald and walking to the State House anymore. I'll, I'll pay it. I'll park in a garage if I have to. And, and when they say a knife fight, that's, that's, that's Hollywood stuff. A knife fight usually involves a stabbing. Somebody's got a knife and somebody else is going to get stabbed. That's what it is. And that's what was happening here. And, you know, I just like the, uh, you know, the, the way it's being portrayed here. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Griffin. Yes, one of them has a knife. Oh, that never happened in your school or neighborhood? Well, I, again, I saw one, but I, I it, no, it didn't. And then here's the headline from Fox. Ohio police officer fatally shoots teenage girl who appear, appears to hold a knife during fight video shows. Appears? Are you kidding me? It's, it's more than appears to me. But of course, uh, you, as we all recall from the campaign, Joe Biden has a uh, has an interesting uh, theory about uh, what people ha- who have knives really are. Cut in the eight. And the idea that instead of standing there and teaching a cop who is an unarmed person coming at him with a knife or something, to shoot him in the leg instead of in the heart, it's a very different thing. They shouldn't fatally shoot people, unarmed people with knives. And now here's Brian Williams from MSNBC. He, he, you know, a busted for, uh, for, for multiple uh, fabrications, not even plagiarism, fabrica- making stuff up. And so Brian Williams is now an, an expert in uh, police response. And he, he hasn't looked at, he, how can he have looked at the videotape and just said something this stupid? Cut 11. There was no attempt to use pepper spray or a taser non-lethal force while a knife can be seen in the footage before the officer fires his weapon. He indeed fired his weapon. Police performed CPR on the scene, but the girl was pronounced dead at the hospital. Well, a knife can be seen. The knife is in her hand. What, What was the guy supposed to do? What was the cop supposed to do? Howie, I guess the police chief in Columbus was just asked by a journalist. Why, why didn't the officer shoot for the leg? You're kidding. Yeah. And it's finished. Chief, one of the big questions that has been asked primarily on social media, and it may seem like a silly question that, like, shouldn't people already know, but this is a legitimate question that a lot of people are asking, is can an officer shoot the leg? Can they shoot somewhere that would not result in a fatal wound, right? So a lot of people have said, couldn't he have just shot her in the leg so she dropped? Could he have shot her in the arm, something like that? Right, you know, one of the, uh, the difficult things with that is um, when you're trying, we, we don't train to shoot the leg because that's a small target. We tra- train to shoot center mass, what is available to stop that threat. There was a threat going on, a deadly force threat that was going on. So the officer is trained to shoot center mass, the, the largest par- part of a body that is available to them. When you try to start shooting legs or arms, uh, rounds miss, and then they continue on, and there are people behind that that could be in danger that are not committing anything. Uh, so we try and minimize any danger to anyone else if we have to use our firearm. He he handled that question very well, I think. I, I think most people's heads would have exploded if they'd been asked that question. It's a question being asked. 
by very stupid people. Meanwhile, there was a uh, police uh, shooting in uh, Worcester overnight. It looks like it was suicide by cop. Man shot and killed by Worcester police identified. He claimed to have a bomb. His name is Fed Guvanvong, 31. He, and he, he told police he was carrying a rifle and a bomb. He was threatening to detonate the device. And uh, he ended up getting shot and uh, killed. And uh, now, now it's being reported in uh, in in the in the Springfield paper anyway that uh, he he didn't really. It was he was faking it. But I mean, again, how did the cops know? How were the cops supposed to know that he uh, and he had a rifle anyway? So he had what appeared. This is what the DA or Joe Early said uh, or Junior. He had what appeared to be an assault weapon, body armor, a backpack, and an explosive device, as well as other wires and different th things about his person. So in, uh, at, at the White House today, the, uh, the, the press secretary, Jen Psaki, was asked about uh, the, the shooting in, uh, in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, the, the person had a, a name, uh, Micaiah, with, uh, you know, some apostrophes in there, too, Micaiah Bryant. And uh, so... Pisaki couldn't get the name right. I, you can't really blame her, but here it is. Cut 16. Uh, the killing of 16-year-old Michaela Bryant by the Columbus police is tragic. She was a child. We're thinking of her friends and family and the communities that are hurting and grieving her loss. We know that police violence disproportionately impacts uh, Black and Latino people in communities and that Black women and girls, like Black men and boys, experience higher rates of police violence. We also know that there are particular vulnerabilities that children in foster care, care like Micaiah, face. Police violence. What if the police officer in Columbus hadn't fired, there would have been a stabbed young black girl by Michaela, as, uh, as Jen calls her. Police violence. I think is there going to be a statement for Peyton Ham, the uh, the the white kid who was killed in the suburbs of Maryland by the white Maryland state trooper? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. But there's another one here in uh, uh, Pasquotank County, North Carolina. That's on the East Coast. Uh, North Carolina police fatally shoot Andrew Brown during search. Like everybody's heard of Andrew Brown. During, they had a search warrant. It's not a search. They had a search warrant. So this is this is uh, where we are in America right now. That uh, that that you know the Derek Derek Chauvin. And I'm not saying it was a bad verdict. I, it was maybe too har harsh, but he. He needed to do some time, most likely. Uh, I'll I'll say that I can't disagree with the jury, but uh, he he's going to prison for most of the rest of his life. And uh, the the guy at the Capitol cop who shot uh, Ashley Babbitt, he's not even being named. He's not even being named. This this uh, does Ashley Babbitt get any justice? Say her name. All right, eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. If you haven't tried Super Beats Heart Chews, you are missing out on a really, really great product. This is, you take two of these a day. They're, they, they're candy. They're wrapped in foil, just like a little candy. They taste sweet and good like candy, but they're good for you. They're not bad for you. They, uh, they're great for your heart health. They're great for your blood pressure. They're great for your circulation. You take two a day, one in the morning when you get up, and then one in the middle of the day when you start to fade a little bit. I take one uh, as the show's beginning, so to keep me going for the entire uh, four hours. They're great. You're going to love Super Beats Chews because they taste good. And they give you a boost of energy. Super Beets Heart Chews combine non-GMO beets with a powerful new ingredient, grape seed extract. The grape seed extract used in Super Beets Chews has been clinically shown to be twice as effective at supporting normal blood pressure as a healthy lifestyle alone. Better blood pressure means more energy the way nature intended without the jittery caffeine or stimulants. Now you can take just two delicious chews a day, anytime, anywhere to get the blood pressure support you need and the energy you want. It's again, I'm going to, um, you'll, uh, you may not notice it, but I'm certainly going to notice it when I take it and chew it. You and definitely notice it, Howie, when you haven't taken your super beats in a while, you, you just don't feel the same. You're, you know, a little weaker, a little more prone to getting tired, easier. But when you're back on the super beats, it's a big, big difference. Yeah. Do what I did and do what Taylor did. Support your heart health with delicious super beats 
Chews. Get Super Beats Chews today at superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. And when you buy two bags, they'll throw in the third one for free. That's superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. I'm Howie Carr. You're listening to the Howie Carr Show. <laughs> 